Hello there, this is Christian, I'm playing around with Fusion for 60 on my computer. Let's do this strange gnarly pattern here. This is a workflow uh, that is fully parametric. We're gonna have a look at that. We can change our parameters. Uh, we can change the number of pattern hard. Let's leave it to like three. Uh, let Fusion think for a while. We can change the number circular. Let's do 24. This is gonna slow down Fusion. We can also change the angle of the edges to something like 120. Uh, with more shallow edges. Uh, this workflow is aimed at the looks and 3D printing, not machining, because there's a small flaw. The flaw we can have a look at here. Curvature comb analysis. Uh, if we take this line here, we can get no curvature comb, but it's a straight line. But this here gives us a small curvature, but this is a small, I think it's arc or parabola. Uh, should be an arc. Uh, anyway. So, if you're going to machine this, yeah, you know how to do this if you're a machinist. Uh, I'm not a machinist. Uh, I'm just playing around with software. Uh, but if you want to do this for 3D printing, for the looks of it and stuff like that, feel free to use it. Uh, remember, do not overdo the amount of patterns that's going to slow down fusion to a crawl and go into what you call dark mode when it goes black because it needs to think for something like five minutes. Uh, so, be cautious. Don't overdo it. Uh, but I like to do things totally parametric, so let's see if I can remember all the parameters I need. If I forget some, I need to go back and add them. We're going to start a new design, be a good Fusion user to create a new component. Uh, yeah, it, that's, I want to name it Nerd Part. Nerling, nerdy, nerdy. Let's open it up like that. And we're going to start with our parameters, of course. Let's do that. We're going to add a user parameter. Oh, I changed the size laser. Uh, OD for auto diameter. Let's do it 100. Gonna move the window a bit over like that and expand it a bit so we can see a bit more. Uh, that's gonna be a favorite that we're gonna change later. From the auto diameter, we can calculate the auto diameter circumference. We're gonna use that later. Uh, with the OD, type in, enter, times pi. Remember, big letters in pi. And this is a calculated. So I had a calc to remember that that's a calculated parameter. And what do we need more? Uh, we need to decide, uh, going to change it to no units, because I'm going to see the number of pattern circular. Let's do that uh, 25, or yeah, 24, I think I like 24, 24. Parameter, make that a favorite. Uh, from this, we can start doing some more calculation. We can calculate our pattern width. I'm just gonna, gonna pop back here. There's a design in intent in this one. Uh, come on, big lines. Uh, the distance from one vertex to one vertex here, uh, 9.78, blah, 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 uh, is the same or really close the same in this time, 9.8125. It should be the same. That's the design intent, I it. 98175, let's see if we get it correctly. N almost, it's not really perfect, but quite close to getting a, a, a nice stable pattern. I'm using a bit of easy. So it gets basically squared if you don't overdo the patterns. So that's the design intent. So let's open my parameters. So we're gonna now, from this, we can calculate the width of the pattern on the outer diameter. So, bit of a simplified version, we're going to do our outer diameter, uh, that's going to be our pattern, uh, width, hope you're with me, uh, OD circumference, divided by the number of patterns, that's a calculated parameter, so by that, that is going to be our, that's the arc distance from a vertex to vertex on, on the outer diameter, so we're going to use that for the height, it's not really perfect, but is fast and stable. And we can also calculate the pattern angle. And uh, that's gonna be in degrees, of course. I like to do degrees. Uh, full revolution is 306 degrees. We divide it by the number of circular patterns. And uh, that's also a calculated parameter. Uh, we get no uh, pattern width, we know our pattern angle. So we had done ev basically everything that is circular. Let's work with the hive. We're gonna need to tell Fusion. Uh, once again, no units, uh, number, pattern. Do I spell it correctly? A hive, like that. And uh, we're gonna do, let's do 3.5 for now. Uh, that is an input parameter, so we're gonna make it a favorite, like that. 
And from this, we can calculate the height of the, the, the part or the cylinder in the middle. So we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to call it cylinder uh, height. And uh, that's going to be the millimeters. We know the pattern width and we multiply it by the number of patterns on the height. That's a calculated parameter. Hit OK. And, ba -ba 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 -ba. and now we also need, uh, I'm using, go back here, I'm using sweeps to create this and I know to know, to know the sweep angle, how, because I'm going to do a sweep from yeah, the same height as this to do it in as few steps as possible. And I need to know how much we twist is here to make, work it out. So we're going to add that parameter, change parameter, we're going to do a plus one. And that's going to be an angle, let's talk, call it sweep angle it's going to be degrees and we know we are we have a pattern angle so let's lose that pattern angle and we multiply that by the number of patterns which one when one of the height because it needs to twist uh that the sweep angle needs to be with the twist angle of a sweep needs to be the pattern angle multiplied by number pattern of a height to add up to everything else i think i'm not too stupid now no, I don't think so. Uh, oh, sorry, 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 that's one more parameter. We need one more input. We need to input var uh, edge uh, angle. Also, going to be degrees. Let's, oh, let's do it 120. And that's going to be, so be a favorite. We're going to use that for input. Uh, that is the edge angle. The edge angle is the angle of these two edges here at right here. So the uh, higher value gives you a more shallow look. A lower value gives you more sharp. Of course, if you do too much, you can't print it and it can crush the pattern, like always. Uh, let's have a look at our parameters again. Uh, we have our outer diameter. We calculate the circumference. We decide a number of patterns around the circumference. Uh, from that we can calculate the pattern width or uh, the arc length from uh, edge to edge or from vertex to vertex that's our outer diameter circle divided by number of patterns circular we can dive, uh, uh, calculate the pattern angle 360 divided by number of patterns so that's 15 degrees uh, we decide the number of pattern of the height from that we can calculate the cylinder or the part height which is going to be a part on pattern width which we checked earlier times the number of patterns of the heights so that is in millimeters our sweep angle is going to be a pattern angle times number of patterns of the height so this is a twist angle of the sweep and the edge angle we input like that so that is our parameter let's hit ok and start modeling we are inside our component we're going to create a sketch in this top and so we're looking from the top we're going to start with circle and that's going to be a construction circle. This is going to be our outer diameter circle. We're going to do OD, just like that. Let Fusion think for a while. And we're going to take this one and move over here. A line, we are still doing uh, construction lines. We're going to do one line from center and make it uh, vertical. Make sure you get vertical constraint. We're going to have a look at that later. We're going to use this for pattern of mirrors. And we do a second line, and now we're going to do hit. Uh, we can do dimensions up here. Menus. I like to hit things on the keyboard. This is our pattern angle, so angle and pattern angle like that. We're going to do a second circle. This time is no longer a construction circle. This is uh, the inner cylinder, so we're going to pull it out quite close to the edge here. Uh, there's no dimension because that's driven by the angle of the edges out here. So we're going to do a line. Zoom in, select this here, somewhere out here, and by deliberate now do them a bit wonky like that. Escape, so we turn off the line command. This line, hold down control and select the second line, so we are both selected, and select equal. And dimension, these two, is of course this angle, but we can pull it out here. This angle is going to be our edge angle. I'm going to finish sketch, going to open the sketch and have a look. Yes, they are fully defined, so I can open the sketch again. So, we have a circle, out of the amateur circle. We have a, then from that, we are getting a, a derived circle, which are driven by the angles from this edge here and for angle of a pattern here. So, with that, I'm totally fine with this sketch. Let's make a new one. 
Let's turn this around a bit. We need to have a hive somehow. We're going to do sweep, so we need an axis. And we're going to use that axis also for extrude, so we don't need to type in any... Um, we can use the parameters, but I like to use... Uh, sorry, wrong face. Uh, any face that's standing up now here. So let's do this one. We're just going to do a line. Hit L on the keyboard to start line command. It's going to go up. And this is going to be our cylinder hive, like that. We're going to finish sketch. So now we have basically all we need. So we're going to start with an extrude. This cylinder uh, distance to object. You can use parameter here, but I like to do it like this. It gives me a more clean look. Well, my brain is like it more uh, like that. And now we're going to do our first little nearly, nearly little part here. We're going to do a sweep. Where are you? Sweep. Uh, this profile. The path is going to be our little line we made earlier, and now we have a twist angle. I happen to name it sweep angle. That's good. Like that. Make a join operation. And by doing that, we have done one. Of course, we need more. So we're going to do a circular pattern. Where are you? I always forget where you are. Modify. Are you there? No. Uh, if you don't find something, I always say this because I'm too lazy to search for menus. Hit S on the keyboard. Start typing circular pattern so we find the circular pattern make sure type is feature because we're going to do it on the sweep feature the interesting thing is that you can uh i think you can click sometimes so now it didn't waste time sometimes you can click on features in the in the, in the model to make it take that but so this time i clicked down here in the timeline feature axis you can select the line of course or just any any circular face however edge and fusion will understand what you're trying to do quantity is a uh, number of circular patterns like uh, that just hit okay and we have made our little uh, revolutions in one direction we need the other one so once again s on the keyboard keyboard start typing in uh, mirror you need to know what commands are called but you're gonna learn that quite fast uh, mirror type is going to be bodies, this body, and here is support, uh, slightly important, you can basically do it anywhere, it should be symmetric, but I like to do it this way to not fool myself. The mirror plane I'm choosing is, as you said earlier, one of the lines here, I was uh, made a uh, vertical constraint, so it doesn't move around, which also means that the line, or this point here of the pattern, is aligned up with the plane in here, which you can see, original plane here. I want to select it, hold down the mouse button, and let's see. Y Z is what I want, and not join, I want new body, so we get two bodies, let Fusion think for a while, hit OK, and we now have two bodies, let's open up a body folder, like that, we're going to turn off our sketches, we're going to do a combine, select one body, uh, make sure our operation is intersect, tool body, it's going to be this one, uh, we don't need to keep tools, we can remove it, so we only get one body, and hit OK. And let Fusion think. And by doing that, we have created this little nearly part. We can go in and check where things works, change parameters, hide the user parameter, model parameters, and only have our favorites up. Let's change these to 75. Let Fusion think. Works. We can change these to 15. So you get lesser pattern around there. Yeah. And we can also make this 90 degrees. This does not change the dimensions too much. It just makes them more pointy. The more pointy you make them, uh, let's look like this. Uh, the more, uh, the smaller angle between the edges here, the more rhombic this shape is going to be. I think this is a bit too harsh and slightly, you know, not hard to free the printer. I like to keep this around uh, 120 degrees, something like that. That's my taste. It gives you a nicely, slightly neural pattern and fully controlled. Let's do once more. Let's do it up. This looks a bit too soft. Let's do 26. Like that. Hit OK. So, this is a short workflow. A short, not that short, but it's short here and it's totally parametric, so you can play around with it. So, I hope this is useful for you and take it, play around with it, and leave a comment if you want to find some useful use for this workflow. With that, goodbye, see you around, and take care.